Aljo, Aljamain Sterling. We talk so much about the state of this 135 pound division, how it's never been stronger, and yet, this guy's starting to distance himself from the pack a little bit. Outstanding grappler, and more often than not, he's gonna have a big advantage in that one. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that separates Aljamain, is that he's one of those guys that tells you what he's gonna do, and then he goes and he does it. Nothing's more discouraging for a fighter than to know what you have to defend and still not be able to defend it. Aljamain Sterling is a beast. Now, he did hint to us in the fighter meeting that he thought he could win this fight without chaining takedown. So perhaps we'll see a strike-heavy approach here from Sterling Earl early. We shall see. The Funk Master, Aljamain Sterling stepped inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Jan, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz, but this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory. I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Sean O'Malley, ladies and gentlemen, steps inside the octagon. He's ready to fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, Aljamain Pump Master Sterling. And now, he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Herb Dean, third Wait, man in the octagon Wait. tonight. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. They're on a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type. Either on the feet or on the ground, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well. So that bears watching here as round one gets underway. All right, good start for the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Nasty body kick down here. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by O'Malley. Big power shot there. Continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice right hand. 
Oh! With authority, the body. Oh! Oh, a big left hand! Back to the jab now. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Just over two minutes to go. He's hurt bad. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, nice jab by O'Malley. Found a home for that knee. He throws all of himself into that kick. Final seconds here. Five minutes in the books. Hey, stop. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Round Good. two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Sterling gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. But sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this story. I think that's what's most impressive about Sugar Sean O'Malley, is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch to the head. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. All right, so he continues to land. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that. So perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. O'Malley's now switching his stance. 90 seconds to go. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He went high. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks. Oh, that's over the top, and now 
putting this opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making him think he's going lower than to right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great run. Final seconds here. Oh. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Nice block. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. O'Malley's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Man, he has been masterful on the feet this evening, and really his weapon of choice has been that jab. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big left hook there. Superman punch now. Three minutes to go. Sterling's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice block. Punch. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Good work, guys. Push Come kick on. there to the body. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Sterling gets caught with that punch. Oh! Oh, he's in trouble. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising. Now. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in the game. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and that is one of the best five-minute stanzas you will ever see from a fighter. Rocked him multiple times, unable to get him out of there, but came pretty darn close. He did come close to finishing the fight, but he didn't get it done. Now, it will be on him to try and stay patient, try to find the kill shot without overextending himself and putting himself in trouble. You ready to fight? You ready? Go Fourth ahead. round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. He did a great job setting up that high kick. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! 
leg kick checked effectively there by O'Malley. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because the swelling. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. His right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Nice shot. Oh. O'Malley's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Just miss with the leg kick. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Well, not much set up behind that. Seconds to go in the round. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. To be able to be O'Malley's kick attempt. That one was blocked. One minute to go in the round. Jab gets through for Sean. Landed the overhead. Good kick. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Ready. Granted, any cut is bad. But this one is in the spot where it shouldn't affect the Yeah, he hurt real bad. He still hurt. He's able to connect with a beautiful jab. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Push kick there to the body. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Sean O'Malley. In a world of trouble now. They say the straight boots are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Oh, that one hurt him bad. Back to the feet.
feet now. Huge knockout tonight. Yo, wow. That was nasty. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Sean O'Malley. So Sugar Sean O'Malley gets it done yet again tonight as we congratulate the fighter and his MMA lab teammates. He had some doubters coming in here tonight, Joe, but once again, Sean O'Malley is able to silence all his naysayers and produce on the biggest of stages. Congratulations to the Sugar Show Sean.